here you can notice my desktop and it's congested with applications files and folders and in this video i'm going to show you how to get rid of a lot of irrelevant files that are stored on your computer and taking up a lot of space now i did this recently and i actually released 5 gigs of data every time an application is run it stores information it stores temporary data temporary cache and so on this is my temporary folder where a lot of temporary files and folders are stored and each of these folders look at that this one is three megabytes and that's actually space that i could actually get because if you look at my storage i only have 86.2 gigabytes left and i have some other drives that can actually be used for external purposes so let's get to it i'm going to go on my browser open chrome and the application there are two parts to it there's one for the registry and there's one for your general cleanup and i'm going to clean the registry also reason being is because the registry also stores a lot of irrelevant files or irrelevant settings that actually keep storage on the computer and keep a bunch of storage and a lot of things running in the background of the computer so this is the first application that we will be using and it's very lightweight its name is wise registry cleaner and the first off you're going to be cleaning the registry so you can easily press on this it's only 5.6 megabytes and it's free to download and free to operate I already have it installed so I'm not going to be downloading and installing it again So here you'll see it can actually scan a numerous amount of different paths and different parts of your computer and the best thing about it is that these applications usually come up with a tune-up and this one has a registry defrag so here you can actually just like your hard drive or your external drive or your removable drive you can actually defrag this drive to remove fragmentation and free up space so while this runs to just save up some time there's another protocol why this inner this is the one that actually important this one will actually increase your storage by removing irrelevant cache files temporary files every single thing now if you don't have access to the internet i will show you a bonus way to stay tuned to how you can actually reduce well increase this in that case now i already have this one installed also so i will not be downloading it but it's only 6.16 megabytes it's very lightweight you can run this if you're using your hotspot from your mobile data it wouldn't take much from you at all you can clean the registry so i'll be doing this off camera reason being is because I don't want it to be interfering with the software I'm using to record this video right now. Okay, so a while ago I actually ran Wise Registry Cleaner again, most likely. So here I'm going to be running the Wise Disk Cleaner. Now, if you don't want to use the common cleaner, you can use advanced cleaner. It will comprise of common cleaner and the advanced. It will go more in depth. And they say, these two applications do not use in favor whatsoever. If you run games and you want to optimize your computer to move faster, and if you realize that your computer is supposed to be faster, such as mine, and it's actually moving slow, you can get another program called wise memory optimizer so watch my performance i have 24 gigs installed and i actually have the i5 6700 to keep it nice and simple 
this is a very fast enough computer I can say my hard drive doesn't really always go right up so that's a very good thing but the problem is sometimes the computer will be a bit slow so I have to restart it so in case I reach instead of restarting it I can just run the optimizer and you can get this off this page here and here it is wise memory optimizer so it asked me a while ago to close chrome so that the cache and cookies would be able to be collected so it to be deleted and i'll choose no and it says that um Chromium, which is Chrome Framework, still no. Now, if I did close Chrome, it could also close my Filmora. It's a possibility that the last time I was recording this video, my Filmora was closed and my recorded data was deleted. So, after this recording, I'll be doing all this. To continue, you can slim your windows down so by slimming it it deletes all unnecessary stuff and it's optional so you can choose whether you want to delete your japanese ime or your chinese or your wallpapers and so on or your and this basically um if you have run it for the first time on your computer all your windows updates they will be stored held so all your irrelevant ones could be slimmed down and deleted this could actually add up to an additional up to 6 gig based on how many updates you have done now in defrag on the other hand you can choose the disk that you want to now, this is my c drive this is where my windows is installed i have one terabyte of storage and i could defrag it Full optimization takes a long time or analyze it or defrag and I can actually remove bad fragmentations and increase my disk health this is a very good thing but don't forget the bonus I just remember the bonus so you can type in cleanup on your Windows computer and you can see this cleanup right there this is the drive that you want to, I'm using my Windows drive, so I'm pressing OK. And there you can actually delete the bunch of the relevant files. You have thumbnails. So these thumbnails there are applications that no longer exist, but these thumbnails still exist. It also comprises of your recycle bin. And you can go a bit more advanced. Generally that's it for this video, subscribe, stay tuned for more.